Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and today's video is a, another Q&A. So we hit now over 700 subscribers. If you are new to the channel, every time I hit a hundred goal, I do a Q&A. Um, I did post a video here on YouTube as well as posting on Twitter and Instagram. So make sure that you always check those places um, if you want to submit questions. So let's go ahead and just tackle some of these. So let's go ahead and just start with Twitter. Uh, so Emma from Spooky Astronauts, she asked, have you ever experienced anything paranormal? Um, not necessarily personally as far as like ghosts and things like that. Um, when we were, when I was, when I was really young, I was born in Ohio, grew around moving up, but uh, the house that we lived in when I was younger, my parents, uh, swear was haunted. They would hear things um, and have weird experiences. I was definitely like just generally terrified of kind of me and my sister's room um, and especially the kind of staircase that came up. I do remember uh, just I was such a terrified kid in general um, but I really just hated being in that room um, and I'm sure that had something to do with it. I would say um, I feel like I've definitely had dreams that have come true um, and you know some people chalk it up to oh you're just having deja vu but I've definitely had things happen and be like I swear to you I had a dream about this. Um, I've definitely had you know strong thoughts like random thoughts of something come to mind and then that happened, which could be just me putting that out into the universe as well. Um, those aren't so much like supernatural, I would say, uh, but I feel they're kind of psychic-y spookiness. And then Hello Weedy, who you guys should definitely check her out. Um, she asked me two questions. She asked, what underrated horror do you think deserves more attention? Um, I actually, before filming this, and I don't know which video will go up first, um, I did do a react to the Soska Sisters remake of Rabid, um, and so I will say American Mary. I think that that film is fucking brilliant and fantastic, and their work in general is, um, and I definitely think that that is a underrated film for sure. Uh, and what remake do you prefer over the original? Um, I would, I guess, say It. Uh, I don't get that big into the whole original versus remake debate. Um, there are a lot of remakes I'm not a fan of. Um, but I would definitely say I prefer the more recent uh, version of the first half of It to the miniseries. Um, not that there is anything wrong with the miniseries. It's still great, just I prefer the... Bill Skarsgård's more recent one. Um, so let's go ahead on over to Instagram. Okay, so from Instagram, we have Nocturnal Horrors asked me, what was the toughest part in getting to 700? And any tips for YouTube newbies? Um, I mean, I guess that's <laughs> it's kind of hard to say I guess what is the hardest part about like getting to a certain number. Um, I definitely feel like you can get kind of stuck sometimes. Um, I mean really with YouTube subscribers fluctuate so much um, you can be gaining a lot at a time and then it just kind of stops and slows down. Um, I mean the more you gain the more you'll continue to gain is kind of how it works, which is, I mean, the way it works with really any social media. Um, and I think personally for me, if you are a subscriber and you're watching this, you know my posting uh, habits aren't the greatest. Um, I definitely could do better with posting more frequently, so I think that's just my own personal issue. Um, with YouTube, you really do have to, unfortunately, it's more quantity over quality um, and you do have to post quite frequently um, and so I think that can be a problem. As far as tips I'd say just like I said kind of posting frequently um, but also just making sure to post content you're happy with. 
um, you know, don't post content just to post content. Um, I feel like most people who do that do end up often regretting the things that they post just because they're not happy with them. Um, and people can feel that, you know, and if you ever need to take a break, definitely do it. Um, you know, I try not to tire myself out with posting content, um, especially just because I know, you know, if you are making something, you know, you're filming something, whatever, when you are unhappy um, or just not in the mood and you just don't want to, people are going to be able to read that. Um, I mean, you can, you know, act through it, I'm sure, for some people, uh, but I think that those things do come off on camera. Um, I've definitely made videos in the past that haven't gone up because while editing, I've been like, oh, you can tell that I look unhappy. Um, and so, yeah, I would just, you know, I stopped doing that. I did that for a while. Um, you know, there are videos that are up where I feel like you can tell. And there are also videos where up where I feel like I knew I was in a mood in that moment. And maybe people couldn't tell. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I just, you know, post when you want to. That's my biggest tip, you know, don't tire yourself out and post the content that you want to create. Don't feel like you have to post things that are necessarily always going to draw people in. Um, you know, I kind of, when I started doing reviews, I kind of got into a habit of just, you know, watching things and reviewing them to have stuff to review. Um, and I stopped doing that as well. Um, you know, when I want to watch something, I'll watch it and then, you know, review it and sometimes I review it, sometimes I don't. Um, but I stopped forcing myself to watch things that I didn't necessarily want to watch just because I thought it, you know, people would want to see a review on it. Um, so yeah, I guess those are kind of my tips for that. Okay, so that was all for Instagram, so let's go ahead and go to YouTube. Um, let's see, Mark Lee said, do you like the Universal Monsters? If so, which is your favorite? And congratulations on 700 subs. Thank you, Mark. So, yeah, I do enjoy the Universal Monsters. Um, you know, not my necessarily, like, favorite, biggest obsession as far as horror goes. Um, but, yeah, I do enjoy them. And as far as my favorite, that would be the 1931 Dracula with Bella Lugosi. Um, that one, I remember my dad owned that one, and I do remember watching it with him. Um, so that's probably a reason why it's my favorite. But yeah, I definitely, that one would be my favorite of any of the Universal Monster movies. And let me know what your guys' favorite Universal Monster movie is in the comments if you have one. Um, and then Horrorizer Mont G said, "Congratulations on getting 700 subs, Lizzie. Do you have, have you seen the season three of Scream? And if so, did you enjoy it?" Um, so I know that he asked that question before I posted my review of it. Um, so yes, I have seen it, and in general, yes, I did enjoy it. If you guys want to see a full review and stuff, link will be in the description. And this next question comes from uh, someone on YouTube who I adore. Her name is Laura Legends. Um, she is not a horror YouTuber. Uh, in fact, she's actually not a big fan of horror, but she's always been very supportive. Um, and she always like asks me a question whenever I do these Q and A's. Um, she is a big old nerd. So if you guys are also into nerdy shit, uh, specifically Jurassic Park, that is her jam. Uh, I definitely suggest checking out her channel. She does some hilarious videos. Um, she has ones where she like recreates scenes from films with like her dog and her cat and uh, they are hilarious. And again, she's a lovely person. So definitely suggest checking her out if you are into the world of nerd, um, which I also dabble in as well. Right over there behind the camera is some nerdy stuff. Uh, so she said congratulations as well. Um, if you had to have a horror pet, what would you choose? I.e. Vampire Bat, Church the Cat from Pet Cemetery, Salem from Sabrina, Zero from Night Before Christmas, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> she put Bruce the Shark from Jaws. Of course he did. Um, <laughs> so if I... <laughs> 
if you guys have actually seen my cats, um, which they've popped up in videos and on social media, I kind of do have to the cat, uh, or cat Fluffy, who's not in the room right now, and I'm not gonna force her to be in a video, maybe I'll post a po photo, she very much looks like church. <laughs> Uh, there's definitely been a few times in the night where I've been like spooked by her just in there all creepy like. No, I love her. She's the best. But, um, so I do kind of already have church, but yeah, I would love to have a bat. Though bats are not pets, I'm aware. I would never own one. Um, but from any movie in particular, I'm trying to think of like a particular horror film like animal that I would want to have. Um, I don't know, they're always like bad or they end up dying sad tragic deaths. Uh, so I'm gonna stick with having a vampire bat. If you could have bats as pets, um, I would 100% have one. But they don't make good pets, but I know better. But yeah, I think that was basically it for the questions. Thank you guys so much for those of you who did submit questions. And if you missed the opportunity to ask a question, feel free to leave some in the comments below. I'll reply. Um, but you know, like I said, always make sure to check me out on social media for when I post that stuff. I also occasionally do post like those little Q&A bubbles on Instagram. Um, so feel free to follow me on there. Uh, and every now and then I'll do a Q&A on there. Um, but I hope that you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please, you know, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so we're one step closer to hitting 800. I am so excited because that means one step closer to hitting 1K. Um, and I will see you guys later with another video.